So we're here with Coach Scold. Coach, it's kind of a full circle moment for you. You were part of the first CACC championship team, or not CACC championship team, the first team to make it to the CACC championship. You guys didn't win that year. Now as the head coach of Post, you've been here three times and now you've won it. What does this mean to you to have kind of this full circle moment to be back here? It's a great feeling. It's a extreme blessing to be the head coach at your alma mater and to lead the program to its first ever championship. And kind of moving forward, before we talk about some other stuff in this tournament, you're going to see a lot of familiar teams probably in the NCAA regionals, especially like Southern New Hampshire, I know was at the top coming into this week and they fell in the, in the first round of the NE10 tournament. But you're going to see a lot of familiar faces, probably even some CECC opponents. What do you guys have to do to keep the ball rolling, get that first regional win and kind of keep it going from there? I just got to keep practicing hard, just coming out every day to the field with killer instinct and just keep finding ways to get better. Jack Marno had a magnificent performance today. Eight innings, only allowed three runs. He struggled early on, though, but he got it going throughout the game. Did you have any conversations with him at all to kind of get him back on track, or was that all Jimmy Brennan? Because Jimmy Brennan was <laughs> telling me that it was he had a conversation with him, too. Yeah, Jack, you know, Jack is a mature freshman, and Jack has just done a great job for us all year. Uh, for me, it was just more about how his arm was feeling, especially as he started getting higher up there in the pitch count. And uh, he wanted to go back out. I mean, Jack is a warrior. He's a competitor. And, and that's what you love about Jack Martineau. You guys had a lot of grit in this tournament. Even though you went 3-0 throughout it, you guys fell behind in each one. 4-0, 2-0, and then today 3-0. But you guys battled back. What was it about this pitching staff that they got it back on track and then the hitters started to hit just at the right times? Uh, just the whole program, whether it was the position players or the pitchers, uh, the guys just battled. I mean, every single game that we played in this tournament, we were behind, just like you said, and we just never, ever gave up. And that's a real, tr a real true testament to what a championship team looks like. I saw you on the side. Obviously, we were getting ready to go out there in case you guys got that final out, and you just seemed still very locked in. Were you excited at all or, like, anticipating possibly running out there to celebrate with the team uh, before that final out? Because it was nerve-wracking having second and third. I was just taking it one pitch at a time and just uh, enjoying the moment. And uh, that was the message that I, I gave to the guys and uh, relaxed, calm, focus, and uh, just pitch by pitch. What was the message coming into this tournament too? Obviously these past few years when you've made it to the championship, you guys were on the loser side of the bracket. And in all three previous seasons that you guys made it to the CACC championship game, you guys came in with the one loss already. This time you swept through three and oh. What was the message before the tournament? Just stay the course. Uh, we practice really hard here. We demand a lot out of the guys every single day, and it's a real testament to them and their character. Uh, we've had several players on the field today that were part of all three of those championship appearances, and it's just a proud moment. You know, they, they come to practice every day. They work hard. They're good kids. They're good teammates, and they deserve this. Ray Skull, the head coach of the Post University baseball team, joining us here. Post wins 4-3 to three against Jefferson University, wins their first ever CACC championship. They'll head on to the NCAA regionals, which will take place next week.